Hey everyone, my name is Paul and today I'm replacing the drive belt on my Chinese scooter. You can get about 5,000 miles out of one of these belts. My scooter has 5,000 miles, so it's ready for a new belt. The drive belt is behind the transmission cover. Take the kickstart lever off first. You'll need an 8mm socket to remove the bolts. Keep track of the bolts and brackets. The two bolts in the back are longer. All Chinese GY6 scooters use a CVT, which stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. And there's my belt. It's definitely time for a replacement. There are many different sizes of drive belts, so you must remove the cover to see what size belt your scooter has. Now let's get that belt off. The hardest part is holding the variator while you remove the nut. You can get the variator holder tool from partsforscooters.com. This part is the drive face. It's spliced to the crankshaft of the engine and transfers power to the belt. My belt size is 835, 20, 30. This is the variator. The rollers inside move outward from centrifugal force while the engine turns faster, and they push the belt higher on the drive face, making a higher gear ratio. As the rollers wear, they can get flat spots, which will make the transmission feel like it's shifting suddenly, instead of a smooth transition between gear ratios. Mine are still good enough. This part is the clutch bell, or drum. You can use any oil filter strap wrench to hold it. It's splined to the rear drive unit and turns the rear wheel. Mine is still in good condition. This is the clutch. The belt turns all the time, but the clutch waits until around 1000 RPMs to engage. Performance clutches will engage at 1500 or 2000 RPM. Let's talk about the kickstart for a minute. I've had very bad luck using the kickstart on Chinese scooters. It never seems to work for me. Let me show you. That's not very useful. The electric starter works every time. I have a nice big battery, so I really don't need the kickstart. I can just throw away these two kickstart gears. What a bunch of junk anyway. Apply a thin coat of grease to the shaft, but don't go crazy with it. You don't want grease to get on the belt. Make sure to pack the clutch bearing with grease, then slide it on the shaft. Now the clutch bell goes back on. Add some Loctite and get it as tight as you can with a wrench, or 55 newton meters with your torque wrench for you snobs out there. Now let's put the variator rollers back in. These parts need to be clean with no grease. The variator slides on this bushing. The bushing does not turn. Don't add grease here, it will get on your belt. Pinch the variator with your fingers so the rollers don't fall out and slide it back on the shaft. Go to partsforscooters.com and type in the belt size. Mine is 835, 20, 30. And here we go. A lot of scooters come with bando belts stock. You might get more life out of a fancy Kevlar belt. I just bought the cheap one. I'll find out later if that makes a difference. I ordered a belt and waited a week to get it. In video land, that's about five seconds. Let's install it. Pull the clutch pulley to the outside and jam the belt down in between the pulleys. This will give you enough slack to get the belt over the shaft in the front. Now install the drive pulley and add Loctite to the threads. Use the variator holder tool and tighten the nut to 55 newton meters. Turn the pulley to make sure the belt isn't stuck. It's time to reinstall the cover. It's a lot easier without the kickstart. Start all the bolts by hand and don't forget the brake cable bracket. The two long bolts go in the back. Install all the bolts finger tight, then go back and torque them to 10 newton meters. Remember to bolt the air box back on. Mine has three bolts. And for those of you concerned about dirt getting in through the kickstart hole, I'll add some black duct tape here. Changing the belt in one of these scooters is pretty easy as long as you have the right tools. You can get an oil filter strap wrench from your local auto parts store, Harbor Freight, or pretty much any store that sells tools. This variator holder tool is available from partsforscooters.com. Follow the link in the video description to get one of these. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out my other scooter repair videos.